51-52 Al-Qubla Rasul Rasulullah Sallallahu showed us that there's a messenger the messenger at a time of intimate relationship it is the kiss and, and we, we have to understand that a man can't just jump on his wife like a ball no you know, there's a messenger here, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught us, which is the Qubla. The kiss is the messenger. It gives the love. It really polishes the love. 53. Some of us, when we have a problem, dispute, small problem with our loved one, you know, you will go and share it with everyone. No. You know, when you are wounded, you don't leave your wound for the germs you don't because that will be dangerous for your wound and when you have a dispute with your wife it's not available this for anyone because that will dirty the situation and will be so dangerous yes you may find one brother that you trust so much not only trust his love you gotta trust his wisdom you gotta trust his knowledge of Islam because he could really love you but maybe He's the worst person to advise you. Maybe he could love you, but he has no knowledge of Islam to advise you properly. So this way it's like leaving your wound open for the germs. We have to be careful, my brothers, my sisters. And now we move to 54. To know that the health, the good health of your wife, it is your health. It is your good health. To really show her that you care for her health Really, you are engraving in her heart your love. To care for her health, that really, in return, it is strength to your health. In return, you are really caring for your own health. Showing her that will keep the love and protect the love, increases the love. 55. Some brothers will think that I am right all the time right I'm always right no matter what I'm always right they could never accept that wait a second my brother no matter how good you are you are not perfect no matter how good you are you have shortcoming no matter how good you are you could never be always right get rid of this sickness those people who would think that I am always right. May Allah help you. May Allah cure you. You are not always right. The one who is always right is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You are not always right. Get rid of this disease. It protects your love. It increases your love. 56. Your happiness, your sadness, share that with her. 57. Have mercy on her weakness have mercy on her weakness have mercy on her when she is weak or when she is strong have mercy on her because she is the fragile vessel she is the one that really take care of your loved ones your children and she is the one in trust in your hand this is what Rasulullah showed us that this wife is a trust in your hand 58 you are the comfortable chest for her you are the one who would say lean on me in the difficult time lean on me on the sad time lean on me when you need a chest to lean on be that chest for her rest assured she lean in your chest but she will love your heart and you will protect the love you'll protect her love and you protect your marriage to be that comfortable and soft and tender type of a person that she could lean on 59 accept her as is this is what Rasulullah showed us that she is like she's created from the rib and if we see the rib the rib is not straight the rib is going this way it's not straight you know, accept her. Trying to straighten her, you will break the rib. And that means divorce. Accept her as is. Accept her weakness. You will love her. She would love you. You will protect the love. 
And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam showed us that you may dislike one habit or one manners of her, but you will love another manner. So accept her as is. Finally, I would say, my brothers, my sisters, number 60, husn al or a niya at Think means having the good intention for your wife at all times it goes a long way because that intention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala monitors your intention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala monitors your heart have a good niya have a good intention for your wife we go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who said ومن آياته أن خلق لكم من أنفسكم أزواجا لتسكنوا إليها وجعل بينكم مودة ورحمة that from his signs that he created for you from you mates means wives so you may dwell in tranquility and Allah caused among you love and mercy may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fill our homes with tranquility love and mercy my brothers a listener can be much better than a speaker jazakum Allah khair please remember me with your dua assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh